Your continual feeling of support is here on your mission to keep seeing the end of chaos in your reality, and to continue to replace this with unconditional love, as your source creation is always expanding by your will, focus, and intent for this to be made a reality. Making no mistake about it, you are continuing to create the reality that you feel is natural, and all the while, this means that you are encouraged to keep going forth on unfolding more of your conscious abilities. Cosmically, you know that you have entered a world that has been destined to be upgraded beyond all of duality, and this is what you are experiencing now, as duality is only able to end within you, as when you look for duality to end outside of you, without the inner work, then you are forever lost. This feeling is from feeling that a timeline of dates should determine how your ascension process is unfolding, when clearly this is not the case at all, as you have come to this dimension to see a magnification of energies combined as one source. That is why I am still here as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light in your reality of joy, in your reality of acceptance, in your reality of bliss, and this is your aim now. If you are not feeling bliss every single day, then you are still practicing releasing the patterns of fear, of harm, of hate of the ego, as you rise your vibrations into the blissful energy fields. Those that state that you are only able to feel this in the future are not able to see that the future is now, where you are developing the skills now for you to feel more connected to who you are as a galactic being of light. To use the logical mind to try and uncover this reality will come up with more falsehoods, with more blocks in your energy field, as you are able to keep expanding into more heightened awareness states of being. The only main focus for those of you newly awakened ascended masters is ascension, every single moment, into now, as this is how you know you are taking your light work seriously, as those feeling they can just slide by meaning just do little to no light work, and feel they will rise into full consciousness as an error in consciousness. If you refuse to rise your vibrations, you will be stuck in duality forever, as this is how it works, as even though you are given the opportunity to ascend, there will always be those souls that go away from this opportunity, to exist in their state of the norm, which in duality is separation. For those of you that are clearly aware of who you are as an old soul on this planet, you are the most mature souls, as your own focus is needed, while those immature souls will say with ego, LOL, LMAO, I need your help, help me, what am I doing wrong? How do I ascend? There are no jokes here, if you feel you need to joke about your ascension process, then you are clearly unaware that you are living in hell on the earth plane, with beings that are aiming to kill you every single day. Yes, beings from the Cabal have these twisted plans that they are going to kill you as the star seeds, light workers, and humans on this planet daily, and they are preparing for such an event, however they will only be able to kill so many of you. Those of you that are rising your vibrations will be safe from such a reality, as if you become caught in the collapse, you will be the ones that have not risen your vibrations enough to be free from duality. The heavenly realms has no death, only pure life, no aging, and expansion into our galactic communities, in who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians, to protect those of you serious about your missions. Those unserious about their missions will be causing much havoc, panic, and violence, as if you feel you will not be placing yourself in the harm of death when you pick up a gun, and fire it on another soul, you will notice that with free will, you are able to go away from your ascension process. This has already happened for many humans on this world, including some star seeds, and light workers, in which such souls feel comfortable in being violent, and refuse to detach who they are from the ego, and as a result stay in duality. If you feel these messages will secure your destiny into being fully conscious, you are clearly mistaken, no, it is up to you how generous you are, how focused you are, how kind you are, 
in your inner connections to more source creation. On your journey to remain focused in unfolding more of your own life, then you are seeing that the 3D experience was one based on permanent confusion, harm, hate, fear, separation, and ego. The removal of ego is your destiny, in being able to transcend the 3D mind, into being a Christ consciousness, being of light, while you embody the frequency of the Christ, then you are able to accept more of your own inner knowing. There are no distractions that are able to stop you from achieving this, as you are choosing to continue to remain focused on who you are as the light, and the light is always peaceful, never argumentative, never fearful, meaning when you experience fear, it is part of the illusion of separation, and in releasing it immediately is a practice. For those of you star seeds, light workers, and humans saying with ego, I have no fear. I experience no fear, sorry if you believe that, are clearly existing in lies, as when you are in a 3D form on a duality world, then the body will keep experiencing fear every single day, and to release this is a choice. You will never be able to release it, if you feel that you are the 3D mind, as the mind is the focus of where the fear takes place, as you notice, when you focus on thoughts, they bring up emotions and these emotions are the masks of the fear, as anger, and sadness are fearful energies. When you feel anger, it is a disturbance in your energy field, and the longer you hold onto this energy, it lowers your vibration, as you are here to rise it by your choice to release all that no longer serves you. The energies that serve you are joy, satisfaction, bliss, and complete harmony as this is what your main focus is now in continuing to release more fear, to allow yourself to embody more of your true nature, which extends into more abundance. While you are continuing to rise your vibration, then you are feeling more light within, and you are no longer going outside of you to ask with ego for help, when this assistance is in your combination of your own efforts, with whom we are as your galactic crew, to make this reality true. In a team effort, then you are being able to know your fully conscious self more, as you are able to keep expanding into more unity consciousness, where the fearful realms of separation are removed. You are here to keep shining, and you do this with releasing more fear, and this is how you are here to gloriously ascend into more of your true self, all done in a natural way of being. No violence will be allowed on the new earth. And that is why it is crucial for you to practice having none, in placing no such energies in this world, as those are of a lower vibration, while peacefulness is of a higher vibration. You are always able to feel more inspired from your release of harmfulness, as you notice how dramatically your life experience improves as you vibrate into more unity consciousness. In the inner work that you are performing now, you are seeing that you have what it takes to ascend into a state of complete appreciation, of acceptance of all souls as one source. We stand with you in balance and peacefulness, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.